So the use of big data and predictive analytics allows companies to drive a lot of value that in years past was not available to them. Right, so by looking in the trends of historical data, they can predict what's going to be happening in the upcoming months or even uh, upcoming years so they can plan accordingly, so nothing is a surprise. If you are, let's say, on the oil and gas site, if a pump goes down, that could be tens of thousands of dollars every hour and it, that pump is not in operation. So if we can look at the trends and identify where the weak points are in our machinery and in our assets, we can plan ahead and maintain these, these pieces of equipment so they don't go down and there's not unexpected damage. Predictive maintenance really allows you to maintain an asset uh, much more optimally than what we do if we simply just set a rigorous schedule of let me take my car in every 3,000 miles or every six months. Um, if I can now take that same oil change to 4,500 miles and not have any negative effects on my vehicle, I can get to the free 1,500 miles, I'd say. Um, so really knowing the machine and connecting to the various pieces of assets that enterprises have and looking at the wear and tear parts, if we can make those last just you know, a few percentage points longer, um, the, the long-term value is, is really remarkable. So everything's becoming more connected, right? So we have all sorts of devices and sensors being deployed in the IoT realm. We have lots of um, really just aggregation of data uh, coming all together, right? So now we can, can store all this in big data. We can start running larger programs and larger analytics and algorithms on top of these data sets. And the, the accuracy of all of these algorithms is going to continue to get uh, greater and greater. Let's just connect your data that you have on hand, right? Let's figure out what's currently happening. And then let's try to connect to those various assets to, to start learning more about them, right? So maybe it's you have a large fleet of vehicles and you don't even know where they're located. It's quick and simple for us to go deploy sensors, OBD2 sensors, or just GPS tracking sensors, to know where your vehicles are, how much they're driving, how are your drivers driving these vehicles, right? So what's the behavior of these drivers? slam on the brakes often, accelerate rapidly, um, are they going way out of their, their normal route or their normal territories? Um, so that kind of sounds like Big Brother, but at the end of the day, it saves a lot of money for the enterprise if you can optimize and streamline uh, those processes.